Hawkeye Episode 5 is currently available on Disney Plus right now. And this time around, after Hawkeye tells off Kate Bishop to go back home, she does so. Gets a little bit consoling with her mom and ask her to look into some of the facts they discovered about her new boyfriend. So after that, Kate gets a visit from Yelena from Black Widow, and she tells her that not only is the mac and cheese really good, but also that she's there to kill Hawkeye, and that she does not want her getting in her way. Though, this basically could probably change down the line because I don't think she's going to kill Hawkeye if I'm going to be honest. I think she's going to have a change of heart or something. But overall, that's our goal in the show. And Hawkeye is basically trying to figure out how to wait to settle the situation once for all. And so, spoiler alert, he dons the Ronin suit to go up against Maya and tell her everything that she needs to know. And this unfortunately does not go as planned as he needs to be saved at last second by Kate Bishop, which the two head off home together and try to lay low for a little bit once again as everything is still unresolved. And this ending leads to a very, very exciting new detail for every Daredevil fan, and that is, spoiler alert, the return of Kingpin, and not just Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, it is the return of Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin, not just the return of any Kingpin or new Kingpin, it is the Daredevil Kingpin. So this means the Daredevil show, at least, can officially be woven into the MCU. Maybe soft rebooted a little bit, yes, but it is definitely these versions of the characters. And knowing how Ruthless Kingpin is in that show, oh shit, shit is gonna go down here. I doubt they're gonna go as far, far with violence with his character. In the Disney Plus side of things, but because you know who he is and what he's like, it creates a sense of tension that now you don't really get as much from Marvel these days. And so the cliffhanger here works perfectly with the person who we know. And we know it's the Kingpin is going to have some sort of involvement. I'm just glad that this is the version we got. Enough about that. What I also love about the episode is how it resolves certain things for Kate Bishop in terms of her family life. And how it's not as it seems. And how she, even though she came back home again busted and angry, she still gets the love and care from her mother. And also she finally was able to convince her that her boyfriend is not a ticket no good. And overall, all that stuff about Hawkeye that said with Maya, I gotta say, all really compelling stuff. You could tell that they have a sense of respect for one another and understanding for one another. They're, she, Hawkeye just wants to clear up everything that's been said. And it also leaves the question for Kate Bishop on whether or not her idol that she looks up to is as profound as he may seem in real life. Because as Yelena was talking with her, it seemed like not everything is right. So Kate Bishop may need to sort some things out about that. And it will probably lead to good conflict within the season. Overall, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this show. This is probably my least favorite episode, as not much plot or story point wise, apart from a few surprises like the Kingpin surprise and Elena's interaction happen much. Though it does progress the story good enough, 
and everything, it's still a good episode. It's just personally to me did not hook me as much as the other ones. So overall good episode, just not my favorite. But plenty of good surprises. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.